forgot to do the transition. What's the transition? Is that your OJ? There, we're live. Are we on? So I'm not even in the center. Here I am in the center. This is better. Okay. All right. Am I on? You are. I am on. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our IQ designer lesson. Um, this is something I've had a vision of for a long time. I, I may have talked about it, but what I'm seeing on Instagram is people are making these uh, sweatshirts for moms and grandmas, you know? Okay, like Kathy and Mary Lou kind of did one. They did one for me where they just put my name, Gam, up here, and then they put the, uh, the grandchildren's name on the sleeve. Now, another thing that I have seen is they put an embroidery. I wear my heart on my sleeve, and then they put the grandchildren's names on the sleeve. Okay, but another one that I saw, which I thought was so cute, is they took big letters. And so, you know, you know, like a Gap sweatshirt, it says G-A-P. Well, mine is going to say G-A-M, GAM, really big across. And I'm going to applique it. And uh, so I'm going to show you how to turn uh, the, let the big letters on your machines into an applique. So I think it's going to turn out really cute. Okay, so this week I'm going to show you how to turn it into an applique, and I hope to get so far as to get it started in embroidery. Because, um, and, and so I, I, first thing I did is I just held it up to me, and I decided um, where I wanted it. I want, I like big sweatshirts. I don't know. I just like it to cover, you know. And so I grabbed an extra large. So this is pretty big, but this is just the way I want it. Okay. And then I looked at it here. We'll tuck the tag inside. I looked at it and you know, I always end up putting it like in the wrong spot. And so there was where they folded it in the package. I kind of said to myself, oh, that's the lowest I would want it. So I, the lowest I would want it is here, and I would want the letters to go up from there. So you kind of, that's what the first thing you want to do is you want to look at your sweatshirt, decide where you want the letters, okay? Now decide what size hoop you want to use. So here I have, so I took the sweatshirt. First, I took the sweatshirt and I marked it with a friction pen. And then I ironed it and it left a mark. So I thought, I better not use a friction pen on this navy blue sweatshirt. So I went, you know, the, um, the, that crease is enough for me to see. And so I went, and here, let's make sure I have my iron on. And I want it to have steam. I think I got it steam. And so I'm just going to take that and fold it, okay? I don't want to mark it with anything. I don't want to mark it. I don't even want to hoop it because sometimes these sweatshirts, when you push them in the hoop, they uh, make a hoop mark and, and it like it ruins it until it, you wash it. Okay, so here I've got it and I'm just going to give it, I didn't really let it heat up very long, but I think it'll be enough of a crease for me to see. In fact, I think I'm just going to leave that creased until I'm ready to uh, put it in the hoop. Okay, so the next thing was, like, how big do I want that embroidery design? And I thought, well, the biggest I want to go is 6 by 10. Because I think any bigger, it's going to be, like, under my arm or whatever. So I'm thinking 6 by 10 is the biggest I want to go. Okay. Next thing, how many letters do you want to do? So we're going to, I want to show you using a regular 6 by 10. And PJ wants me to open up this six by 10, uh, the sticky hoop, and show you using the sticky hoop. Because this is one of those times where, you know, something hard to hoop, like a, a towel is hard to hoop. Sweatshirts, often the hoop makes a hoop mark in it, and, and I didn't want to do that, so I'm going to use the sticky hoop and the uh, sticky tearaway stabilizer. So two ways to go, with a sticky hoop or with your regular hoop, and using the uh, sticky back tear away. Okay, so that's that was my first decision is, and then how many letters? Okay, so I'm using a, a 10 inch hoop and I only have three letters. So I, 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 so I have 10 inches to cover three letters. So I'm, I'm thinking that I want my widest letter 
to be um, about uh, three and three quarter inches, right? Because that would be, oh, no, 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 that won't work. I'm thinking two and three quarter inches. Two and three quarter inches uh, would be my widest. That would give me room to put space in between the letters. So, I mean, this is the first one I've done. I've never sewn one. So we may change our mind as we go along and, and change our directions. So we're going to head over to the sewing machine and uh, we're going to uh, go into IQ Designer. And just remember, like, uh, uh, Mary Lou is Noni, N-O-A-N-I-E. No, -A -A -E. She's got a lot of letters. She might only want to do hers two inches wide. Okay, height doesn't matter. The height won't matter. It's just fitting across. And then Joni, they call her Noni. And she is N-O-A-N-I-E. So she's not, you know, she, her letters are going to be smaller. So, um, so let's go over to the machine and get started. Okay. All right. I'm good, I think. And we'll be coming back here, PJ? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, Steve stayed late last night and put up this felt wall. So you got to show them our felt wall. So we're, we're, we still have one more to put up and we have to figure things out. But um, we are uh, just really neat. We will be selling them. So you know we will. You know me by now. We sell everything, right? Okay, so I do have my notes here. I have a pen in case I need to make a change. And then PJ, I'm thinking it would be better for me to be at an angle and you'll be able to get a good view. Okay, so here's where I was. Um, and, and, and I kind of even looked here and see, I didn't do it the way, like my M is my widest letter. That's the letter I should have started with, is the M. Because the width of the first, the widest letter is critical. And then from there, you, uh, you're going to write down the height of that letter, and you're just going to make sure that every other letter is the same height. Okay, so the first thing, turn something into an applique. So what do we need? We need a placement line, we need a, a tack down line, and then we need the applique line. Now, I want to do mine with the candle wicking stitch because I love that stitch, but also the satin stitch will work really good too. So, okay. So I'm going to just clear my screen and we will get started. So mine is uh, GAM, G-A-M, they call me. Okay, and so I'm just going to, oh, it's going to say, what did it tell me? This key does not operate when the needle is down. See, I changed the foot and I moved my needle. So I'm just going to press my needle up down button. It puts it into the right position then. And now I can go home and get out of here. Okay, all right. So the first thing that we're going to do is go into embroidery. All right. Oh, and I was wishing that I would have erased all that. I'm going to go to IQ Designer real quick and pocket with the arrow pointing out. And I am going to select these. I don't want them there because I'm afraid they'll get us, get me mixed up. Delete. Okay. You don't have to erase yours, but I just think it would be easier if the, I, you can see how many times I played with it to get what I wanted. I, I'll leave these others here. Okay, so we're going to go home again, and I'm going to check in embroidery too. So embroidery, and I'm going to go to the pocket, and there's some letters there. I don't want them there, so I'm going to go down to this button right next to return, and it's press that button, and then click on the ones that you want to get rid of. So I just want to get rid of all of those, delete them, okay, and then okay. All right. So there's our oval with the fancy fill. Okay, so there, I'm gonna go home. Now, I'm gonna go to embroidery first. So embroidery, menu number four, right here, click there. Number three, the varsity letters. You could do these other letters. I, I've seen things done with this one. I don't think you could do the AB, you know, because well, for one thing, the letter gets really narrow in some places. So you want kind of a thick letter. Okay, so that's why I'm going there. If you have a uh, somebody in college and a fraternity or sorority, you have the, um, the Greek letters, and then you've got other letters here. Like this letter would be really pretty too. Oh, and look at this one. I have to show you this because we haven't done a thing with this. This one's not right. Oh. My static. 
Oh, static crackling mm-hmm. on my mic. Should we mm-hmm. switch to another one? Let's try, try. try this on. Okay. So let me go okay. see if there's something wrong with the computer. We'll, okay. we'll, we'll fix it. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to put this one on, make sure I'm putting it on right. Good. All right. Do you think this one's better? Is it, is it better right now? So we'll, we'll wait and hear if they can hear me. Okay, yeah, every mic is fuzzy. So hopefully it just isn't that I have it in the wrong spot. Okay, but wow, he's checking it. it. Okay, your mic, oh no. So Susan Evans says, thank you, but we need to know whether my mic is working. So yes, 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 everything's good. Okay, okay, but take a look at these. We have not done a thing with these. Look at them. So there's the letters. So wouldn't that be cute to put G-A-M across the sweatshirt and then in the middle put all the grandchildren's name right down the middle so i mean there's so many different options they said it that it's looking it's good the okay, sound is good. good okay so here i'm going to do the one with the varsity letter so that is o3 click on that and then um click on your letter so i'm going to find my g letter g set Okay, then we're going to go to edit the flower. That's going to create an outline. Then you're going to press memory and then OK. It says recall from IQ Designer stamp pattern list. So it's really what I call the shapes. It'll be in shapes. And so OK. And that's probably another memory where I have it in there a million times. Okay, so I got my letter G. I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to clear my screen. So I'll just delete. Okay. And I'll go back in to menu four. The varsity letters, 03. So that was, now I'm going to get the A. Set. Okay, edit. The flower. But look what comes up inside. So right now it's off. It's not making that shape. So I need to put inside on. So there, if there's an inside shape, you need that on. Okay, then memory and okay. Recall from the, from the shapes list. All right, delete that one. So you're gonna need to do this for every one of your letters. Okay, to cancel the pattern, yes. So now again, Menu four, number three, and then the M. M, set, edit, go to the flower. Do they tell us the name of that? No, but it just, it forms uh, a line around it. You'll see it in the next step. Okay, uh, then now there's no inside, but I'm gonna turn the inside on because I just wanna show you something that, that'll show up, okay? So then memory and okay. All right, so that's what we need to do. You're gonna go in and make all your letters. Now you wanna start with your widest letter. We should have looked at that ahead of time, but I just know from doing it, that my widest letter is the M. So pay attention to that when you're doing your letter. Because um, so I, I, you want to place that one first. And you want to, when you're deciding on your size, that's the, you want that one to be, uh, like I decided I wanted mine like 2.87 is about the widest I want to go. The, my hoop that I'm using is 10 and a quarter. So my widest letter is going to be less than three. So I know the other letters, there's going to be space in between. So I'm going to be okay. So believe me, I tried it out in all the kinds of different sizes. It wasn't until I did it like the fourth time that I figured out, because I started out with, with it at, at four. Oh no, that doesn't work. So, you know, so just find that widest letter and start with that one. Okay. So now I'm going to go home. Okay. Go into IQ Designer, IQ Designer, and then Shapes. So that's the circle and the square. Shapes, go up to the flower. 
and you will find your letter. So you can see I did it a couple of times. So I'm going to select my letter M because that one is my widest and OK. Now, size. So go down to size. And right now, that letter is 6 inch by 5 inch. So see, you have huge letters. And uh, we had one lady that made banners for a church, and she used those large letters. So there's so much you can do. You could even make the letter larger if you want. So there's a lot, a lot of creative things you can do with this. Okay, so I am going to go down... And I am going to, I press size, and I'm going to shrink it down. I'm going to press the button that keeps everything in proportion. Okay, so I'm going to go down. Remember, I said I wanted mine 2.87, because I, then I know it's going to fit in. My three letters will fit in the 10-inch wide hoop with room to spare so I can space it and I can move it around. So I'm just clicking down until I get to the 2.87. There I am. So I'm at 2.87 wide and 3.49 tall. So I want you to write that down. So we are 2.87. And PJ, you let me know with this microphone if I have it in okay. the right spot. Yep. Okay, 2.87 by 3.49. Okay, so the 3, 2.87 was important because I want to fit it into a 10 inch wide hoop and I want to make the letters as big as I can. And then the 3.49 is important because I want to make the, all the letters the same height. Every letter will have a different width, but as long as I have them all the same height, I'm, I'm going to be doing okay. All right. So I, here I am and I'm going to say, okay, then line properties so that looks like a piece of paper so line properties straight stitch so that's going to be my tack down line so straight stitch red and okay line bucket is the next step and then click on the line to turn it red that means that you told the machine that you wanted to sew out that red line as a straight stitch Okay, so now save it, okay? So that's gonna be a red letter. I Hopefully I don't have any more red letters in there, but it's gonna be your red M, all right? So memory, save on the machine. Why am I saving it? I'm gonna need it later because I wanna add candle wicking to it or satin stitch to it. Okay, so now click on next because I can go and tell it it's just a straight stitch. So the only decision you have to make is the stitch length. And I say it's just a, a placement line, so stitch length doesn't matter. So the 0 .080 will be perfect. Then set, okay. And remember I memorized it. Now I want another one. So here is my placement line. I need a tack down line. So right here in Edit, I'm going to click on Edit and make a copy of it. So it's right below Rotate, and it's the solid square and the dotted square. So I'm going to click there. Hey, I'm going to be at the quilt show tomorrow, and I want to wear this. Um, this weekend, I'm going to go visit my grandchildren on Monday, and I want to wear this when, I, uh, when I'm with them my GAM shirt with their names, all my grandchildren's names on it. So I think I'm going to embroider the sleeve at the quilt show. Okay, because I'm taking off on Monday morning. So see, I have two M's, but they're not one on top of the other. Oh, so I, you need to go to move. I think I commented by accident. What's that? I, I made a comment by accident. I didn't even realize. Okay. Hmm. New Hampshire. Huh. What? You said... NH. So Ruth Ann, he didn't mean to send you that message. <laughs> I didn't mean to send you to New Hampshire. <laughs> we did yeah, he didn't mean to send you to New Hampshire, Ruth Ann. Okay. <laughs> so I so I clicked on move, then center. Okay. That put one straight stitch on top of the other. So now, so let's press OK and let's click on edit and you will see two letter M's. What do I need next? I need the candle wicking. So now I'm going to go to, okay, I'm, 
so far I, I haven't needed to change my directions, so I'm on step 27 of the directions. So I'm going to go add IQ designer, because I need to design that. Okay, add IQ designer, pocket with the arrow pointing out. That's where your machine saves things. So pocket with the arrow pointing out, the red M, and then OK. Line properties. So I need to tell it how I want it to sew it. So I go to line properties. I want it to be the candle wicking. But you know, satin stitch turns out really good too. But I'm going to go to the cat candle wicking because we love that. And then red and OK. I'm just sticking with red because red is, is easy to see on the screen. But you can pick any color you want. Now, line bucket. Line bucket and then click on the line. You're gonna hear that sound saying that it registered it even though it's already red. So I'm gonna click on the line. Now if I click on it again, listen, and it gives me that error message. It's just saying you already set that up with candle wicking. So next, and here's where we make our changes. Now I think I'm gonna zoom in a little. So it's at 100%. Let's go to 200. That's good. I can see good now. So I like my candle wicking to be a little bigger. Now, you know how Steve likes it really big. So let's just go there. I, I don't want you to do this, but I wanted you to sew. So let's say 0 0.280 and OK. And maybe I'm, look, no, that's too big, too big. It doesn't even look like an N. So you're going to want to play around with this. And I'm going to go to my 280. And I just went up a little bit. So it was at 0 0.160. So now I'm gonna, just going to go up to 0 0.188. Ruth Ann, are you going to be at the quilt show tomorrow? Because I'm going to be there. Okay, so 0 0.188 and then OK. Let's take a look at it now. That's better. I could even go smaller than that. Because look at how they're running into each other here. I think I, think I better go smaller. So here, 188, and it, so here's 180. Let's take a look. Better, but look at how, you know, they're going to bump into each other. I think I better, on this one, uh, let's just go down one at a time until we get a little bit more of a gap between the candle wicking. No, I'm thinking I better go back down to the default. Here's, well, let's, here's one up from default. Let's see. So we like, we like our candle wicking stitch to show. It's still kind of overlapping. I'm a little worried because, you know, the candle wicking stitch is so thick and it's going to overlap. I better go down to the 0 0.160. But I know from sewing it, see, it's default. It's got black behind it. Let's go 160. I'm leaving it there. I just put in a brand new sharp needle, so I should be okay. But now I, when I'm doing it, the candle wicking as an apple applique, I like to bring the stitches closer together so that my raw edge of the fabric won't show. So it started out with the spacing at 0 0.040, and I'm going to go down. Let's, let's look at the 0 0.016. OK. All right, it brought it closer together. I don't think I want to go any smaller. I think I'm good there. Okay, so 016, I like. Um, now, I need to write down these figures. And I lost my pen, but I'll use this pen. You have a pen there. Okay, so we need to write down these numbers because we need to make all the letters the same. So uh, over to the side here, I'm going to put down for my candle wicking. I'm writing down candle wicking is 0 0.160 inch and uh, 0 0.016 inch for the spacing. So the size is 0 0.160. The spacing is 0 0.016. So write that down. OK, now uh, set that. OK, we're going to convert to embroidery. I'm good with that because I saved the M in the very beginning. So I don't have to worry about it. I saved it. So, OK, and then we're going to go memory, save on the machine. Now, do I want to add right now? Maybe I do.
do. So I, I want to rotate, okay? So I'm going to go to edit and rotate and rotate 90 degrees. Oh no. So PJ, zoom in on that. Look at it only rotated the last item I put in. So I can't do it that way. So I'm going to put it back. I'm going to rotate the other way. What I need to do, so I'm going to turn that rotate off, go down here to the grouping button. I mean, that's what I call it. It's, it's going to group all three pieces together. So I'm going to go grouping. Now look, this button right here is grayed out. Okay, I'm going to press grouping. Okay, and press grouping again. All right, then OK. Look, I still can't rotate. So I need to press that button again. So press, ro press grouping again. Now I can press, see it isn't grayed out. I can press rotate. So let's rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, now I am working with a six by 10 hoop. Okay, so let's go up to the settings. Go to our frame size. Oh, I do have six and a quarter by ten and a quarter, so I'm good. No grid. All right, so I'm going to say OK, and I am going to move that up. So it's got my six and a quarter by ten and a quarter hoop, um, the boundaries selected. So I'm going to say, well, I want to move it. OK, and see, since I grouped it together, it's going to stay together. So I'm going to put that one up there. I'm thinking, I'm going to try it this way. Let's say, OK, add IQ Designer. So we're going to do our next letter. So add IQ Designer, pocket with the arrow point. No, oh, oh, no, shapes, shapes, the flower. And let's get our letter A. Letter A, OK. You could do the three separate and then bring them in separately at the end, but I'm just feeling like this will be easy. Now, size. We wrote down, oh, I hope I wrote it down. Yes, I did. Okay, so my M was 3.49 tall. So I don't have to worry about the width on this one. I just have to worry about the height. But I'm going to keep it in proportion again. Actually, well, I, I, I don't want to use my keypad because I'm not sure where it's going to end up. So I'm just going to press it in. And when I see that top number get to 3.49, I'm going to stop. I just kind of click and release, click and release until I get to the number I want. 3.64, I'm getting pretty close. 5.4, okay, so I'm going to go up just a little to get to that 3.49. You know what? Maybe just to be safe, I should write that down. So my A was 3.49 by 2.56. I may not even need that number, but I'll say OK. Then line properties again. So you're going to go over those same steps again. So line properties, straight stitch, red, or whatever color you want, and OK. Line bucket, click on the line to turn it red, and the inner line to turn it red, okay? So make sure you all the lines are red. I need this later in order to do the candle wicking. So let's go memory, save on the machine. Okay, next I'm going to go to line properties. Oh, I did? Okay, so we did click on it, and so it's a straight stitch. And I put it into memory because I'm going to need it later. So next, this is where we change the stitch length. We're good with the stitch length we have. So set, OK. All right, there we are. OK, then I need another one. So we're going to go edit, copy, move, put it in the center. I'm a little scared because it's like I've already got the M there, but I think I'm going to be okay. I, the first time I did it, I did them separate, but I think I'm going to be okay here. Okay, so okay. Now I need to add the candle wicking, so I have to go back to IQ Designer. So add 
IQ designer, pocket with the arrow pointing out, the letter A, because remember I resized it. That's why we have to go back to the pocket because if I go back to the shapes, it's going to give me the big letter A. So when you save it, it saves it in the pocket. So I went pocket, then clicked on my letter A, OK. All right, um, line properties. So I already have the two straight stitch. So I'm going to go line properties, candle wicking. I'm sticking with red. I, I could change the color. I don't know. I just stuck with red. And then line bucket. Click on the lines, even though they're already red, you need to click on the lines to turn them red. All right. If I click again, I get the error message. So it's like, okay, I know. Because sometimes I'm not positive I clicked right on the red line. Okay. So there I am. Now, next. And here's where I change it. So I wrote on my next page that my candle wicking, I stayed at the default. 0 0.160 and my spacing I went down to 0 0.16 okay okay I want you to take a look okay I I'm gonna zoom in all right I only have the one candle wicking selected it's kind of looking like not the right shape there so I didn't want to link them together, so I'm going to click on my arrow up here to select that inner triangle, and I think I'm going to try the candle wicking a little bit smaller. So let's just go down one number, maybe two numbers, go a little smaller, and maybe I'll get a more defined triangle, and it's about the same. but. You know, you decide what you want to do. Now, I do want to change my spacing. So I'm going to go from 0 0.040. Let's try it at the 1.6 again. I mean, with the candle wicking, with the letters, you may want to adjust that. So there, oh, I don't know. Like, uh, you know what? And don't worry about it because your, um, your fabric is going to fill in the blocks and it's going to end up looking good no matter what. So I'm just going to keep it there. So I'm going to go set. OK. OK, now here's where I'm worried. OK, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to group these together. So let's press group. OK, group again. It grouped everything together. So I can't do it this way. OK, so we're going to say, OK, we are going to Get rid of, I better, I better go memory, save on the machine, the whole thing, okay? And then I want to get rid of my M, okay? I'm going to get rid of my M, so select it. Oh, I grouped it together, so I want to ungroup. See, it's got boxes around everything. So I'm going to ungroup, okay? Oh, I go over here to ungroup, okay? And then I'll say, OK. And I decided to get rid of my letter M because I could go back in because I already have it saved with the A and the M. So it is definitely easier to do them separate. OK, so we're going to go delete. OK, delete. OK. All right. Oh, nope. Undo. It deleted the whole thing, which was good. OK, and then I press delete OK again and I got rid of the rest of the A. So now I want to take my uh, letter A and rotate the whole thing. So I have to group the, it all together. So group it together, press group together again, OK, then edit. I can't rotate it, so I have to group it together again. Now I can press rotate. See, it was grayed out. And so Rotate it 90 degrees, OK, memory, save on the machine. So I hope I'm not losing you. I'll do the other letter the, the other way. But actually, I want the A right in the middle. And so, OK, so we'll, we'll deal with that M and the A together later, OK? So now I, I've got, I saved it, right? But I don't remember if I saved it or not. So I'm just going to go memory, 
save on the machine again. It won't hurt. Okay, now I'm going to go home and we're going to go in and get the letter G and do it all over again with just the letter G. So we're going to go home. Okay, that clears our screen. Go to IQ Designer and we're going to do it again. So we're going to go to the pocket with the arrow. No, no, no. I don't have the G yet. So I have to go to shapes, shapes, the flower, the letter G. Okay. Now I'm going to resize it. So click on size. And I wrote down that I wanted it 3.49 tall. So I'm going to shrink it down. Not worried about the bottom number. Just worried about all the letters having the same height. So 3.49 tall. Okay. And then I'm going to go say, okay. Line properties. Straight stitch. Red. Okay. Fill a, a line bucket. So line bucket. Click on the line to turn it red and then memory save on the machine okay so i've got my letter g i've got it in a straight stitch so i'm going to go over to embroidery embroidery and make a copy so here's my stitch length i don't have to worry about it now remember if you have a destiny meridian altair this is all you all can do this that's all done the same way okay so here's my stitch length. I'm going to set it. Okay. Here I am in, uh, in edit, in embroidery, edit embroidery. So edit, copy it, move it, go to center. Okay. Now I have two. Let's double check. We have two. So I'm going to click on edit and I can see I have two letter G's. So now I need it again. So I'm going to add. IQ designer, pocket with the arrow pointing out. So that's where we saved our G that's in the correct size. So G, okay. Uh, line properties, candle wicking again. So candle wicking, red, okay. All right, line bucket. Click on the line to turn it red. So again, if I click it again, I get error message. So next, did I save it? I, I better remember. save. I better return and save it because I don't know. Remember if I did? Yes, I did. I had to get the G out, so it was in the pocket already. So we're good. So next, the statements like that are to prove to you that if you're as forgetful as me, you can do IQ Designer. And I never could do it. I never could do digitizing before. But so just keep going. OK, so here my size. Remember, I did it. I kept it at default, so I'm good. Um, my spacing, because I want to bring them a little closer together to make sure I'm covering the raw edge. So I went down to 0.16. So I wanted all the letters to be the same. OK. Set. I'm going to go all the way into embroidery. Set. OK. I'm going to rotate it right here. So it'll save me a step later. OK, so I'm going to go to, um, I need to group them together, right? So group them together. Press group again. OK. I guess that was called multiple selection. So then edit. Then press the group together button again. Group together. Now I can rotate. See, if that button isn't on, I can't rotate. I can't size. I can't do anything. So I got to press it again. And now I can do, I can move and rotate. I still can't resize. So rotate 90 degrees. Maybe I should put it down on the hoop so I won't have far to move it later. So there, I'm going to move it down. OK. And there, OK, so OK. 
memory, save on the machine. Okay, I already did the M, let's go get it. Add, and then the pocket. Now I have an M by itself right here, but I think that's an old one. I'm not positive though, but I, I want the M that's rotated. So I'm gonna click, I don't have it. I have the A and the M. So I'm gonna click on the A and the M and set it. And look at that, it has the A selected. That's the one I don't want. So let's try deleting that. Delete, okay. Oh, it didn't delete all of it. So let's go delete, okay. Delete, okay, until it's gone. Okay, now add. I, I add an embroidery so it's the pocket. There's my letter A. I did save it, so you know I have it saved twice. Set it. Okay, so I've got the letter A. Now, I don't know what, well, you know what? Do I like the spacing? I probably should have looked at that, but you know what? It looks like it's pretty evenly spaced. Let's see if I can move it. Okay, so edit. Can I, do I have it grouped together? I have that button. Let's just see if it moves that whole letter. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. So move. It's moving the whole letter. Yay. So there, I can move it a little closer. I like it there. I, I'm looking at my spacing here. I think I'd leave, like to move the letter, uh, the letter M together. So Let's just say, well, let's just try clicking on it right here. Click on it. I'm not sure if it's gonna move the whole thing, but I do, let's just say okay for a second. I do have that group together. So, okay, so I, then I'm gonna go to move and I'm gonna bring that a little closer together. Okay, I'm liking what I see. So you, you have to, you can't like look at the spacing because uh, the, the letter A slants and the M doesn't. So it's just whenever your eye sees what you like. Okay, so I'm liking what I see. It's nine inches wide. That gives me a little bit of room to move it around on my sweatshirt. Okay, so we're gonna say, okay. And go to, let's, let's save the whole thing right now. Memory, save on the machine. Okay, then we're gonna go and hoop our sweatshirt. Okay, this is very exciting. Okay, I didn't feel like it took too long either though, did it? No. No, okay, no. good, good. Because sometimes my lessons just take so long that I think, oh, I'm losing them. I mean, some of the lessons have been um, 300 steps long. And so I, li I like it when it's like 100 steps or less. Okay. Yeah, 100 yeah. sounds like a lot but really it's not. Okay, so here, um, now why did I fold this and not um, do like mark it? Remember I marked it with my friction pen and it, it made a mark on it. And um, why didn't I use a chalk marker? That's because we don't have any over here in our new studio. <laughs> So, uh, so that's why I creased it. So, and, and you know, maybe just to be safe, uh, I, like I'm seeing the crease right here. I don't want to make any marks. Maybe I'll just reach my hand in and do it the old fashioned way like we used to before the marking pens and just put a pin in. So this is where I want the bottom of my letter. I'm going to have plenty of room to move around, right? Because the, the letters are only like three three and a half inches tall and my hoop, I'm gonna use a six by 10 hoop. So I'm gonna have plenty of room to move it around. So there, I'm just gonna put a pin in. Okay, now um, you can take the sticky back tearaway and you know that we love the Kimberbell sticky back tearaway the most. And I, Mary Lou and, and Kathy use it all the time, and I never really asked them why, but as soon as I heard them say, yes, they were so definite about it, it Kimberbell, Sticky Back Tearaway is the best. I said, okay, uh, sold. Uh, uh, that's the one I'm going with. So it is available in the 12 inch wide, which would have been plenty wide here, and then it also is available in the 20 inch wide, okay? 
But, okay, so what I would do with this, oh, I forgot the scoring tool. The scoring tool would have worked so much better. So if you don't have a sticky hoop, hoop your stabilizer with the shiny papery side facing up. Okay, and then you go around. I usually go around with a pin, but we do have the score. Do we have a scoring tool? I'm going to go look. We might. No, no scoring tool. Just no. Next, next time I'll have the scoring tool. Yes. Okay. So we're in our new studio. So, Ruth Ann, next time you do a video with us, it will be in the new studio, and we are loving it, aren't we? Yeah. Now I have to tell all the locals that the um, rug store, <laughs> another two doors down, it's huge, um, they're going out of business. And I, the landlord owns this building and owns that building. And so I already texted him and I said, don't let anybody look at it till we get to look at it and hear the price. And so um, we're, we're, you went and saw it, right, PJ? Yeah. Yeah, so, it, so you never know where we're going to be next. Yeah. So there, so I'm just scoring it. I'm just scratching it and then I'll lift up. Okay, and then peel it away, and then I got my sticky hoop. Okay, so if I'm using my regular hoop, I do it this way because I don't want to um, mess up my regular hoop with the sticky stabilizer. Okay, so remember, I'll take all of them off, and then I'm going to stick it. But really, the best thing to have would be to get a 6x10 um, sticky hoop. So we love these, and... I'll just pull out a pin again. There. Okay. Now, real? Okay, I do. I, I, I was just thinking, I'm going to leave the pins in because that will tell me that it's straight. And we're going to take a picture with the camera and it will show me right where my pins are for positioning, or I'll use my projector. Okay, so I'm going to take the sticky hoop and I'll open up the stabilizer. Oh, I do have rulers. I didn't realize it had rulers. Okay, so what you want to do is uh, with your rulers, this just makes it so much easier for positioning. You are going to take the, ru uh, the little ruler. You'll get four of them. And um, you're going to measure from here to here. Okay, so here's a, I don't, I probably don't, I have a regular pen, it might work. Uh, so anyhow, let me show you that. Okay, so here, from there to there is seven and a quarter. So, um, three and five eighths is at center. Okay, so three and five eighths is at center. Let's see if my, so here's five eighths right there, and that is center. It's, it's. Okay, it's good, it's good. I'm gonna just move this up a little bit. Make sure I got it in center. Okay, so three and five eighths. It's like a little bit beyond it. So I'm marking center. Okay, then I'm gonna take my strip and gotta get it started. I may need PJ to get it started. Let's sure. see you if don't I have can. That scoring tool. Yes. That's where it would come in handy. <laughs> yes. See. With doing as many shows as we do, uh, we we don't get very much time in between. But we, we every day we're going to be bringing more things over here. Does the ruler go on top? Yeah. So what what is a sticky hoop? A sticky. Well, they're going to see. They're going to see. Gonna see, it doesn't have an inner and an outer hoop. It just has the bottom hoop. And you want the sticky hoop because you don't want to be messing up your regular hoops with because um, the sticky stabilizer kind of sticks to it. Oh my goodness, PJ, you're gonna have to do this for me. Okay, there. Okay. You need a hand. I got you it got started. Me. Okay. Okay, so I've got the zero. And I want the numbers like facing me. I don't want them upside down. And I'm going to put that zero right on that little line that I made. And there, I think I'm looking good right there. And then I'm going to take my scissors and trim off the excess. So same thing at the bottom. 
So I'm going to move my ruler down, and it's going to be another 3 and 5 eighths. I'll just give it a dot. Okay. Take this. I remember I used to do it. Oh, there, that works. So I turned down a corner. Scoring tool, if you, if you had a scoring tool, this would be like so easy. If you could see good. Okay, okay so there, the lighting, I got it. We need I, better lighting in here, I think. Yeah, yeah. well, you're going to work on that. He's going to work on the lighting. But what if we move down? I know. I, ca I can't even hardly believe that we could have another building. We're, we're turning this little block into all of us. Yes. Yeah, there's a paint store. Uh, that's huge space, yeah. the paint store. Huge. Yeah. yeah. I don't think they're going out of business. So no, they've, they've been there forever. Well. Yeah. But you never know. So we should try to contact the owner sure. and say, can we buy your paint, your building? <laughs> Well, that would be just I like heaven. The, I like the carpet store. It's beautiful. It is nice. That's it's really, got really, it, nice really nice. It's floors. got a parking lot right beside it. Oh, yeah. Okay. We want both. We want the whole block. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So, there I've got, see, I've got the zero right at the center. So, this is the same thing with your magnetic hoops. This is how to put the magnetic hoops on. Okay. Grab that pair of scissors sure. I have right over there. Sure. Okay, and then we're, might as well do this, because then they see, because when they buy the magnetic hoops, everybody's always asking, how do I get, mm -hmm. where do I put this? So, so see, having zero, so when I line something up, I'll say, okay, the top is at uh, the, the one mark. So the, I'll want my bottom of my line to be at the one mark. So I don't have to get everything on zero, but I look at those lines for lining things up with the magnetic hoops. I look at those lines when I'm doing my edge to edge quilting. So I know that if that last design is at six up here, then I make sure that it's at six here, then I know it's in there straight. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my scissors and trim off the excess. I, you know, I do trim off the excess right there, but I wonder maybe it would be better to turn around peel it around just a little bit, but I bet, I don't know. Somebody tell me how they do it. So I'm just gonna bend it just a little bit and then trim. Somebody said Gloria Horn Sewing Township. Yeah, <laughs> Gloria Horn Sewing Township. Yes, that sounds good. Oh, I got one of my stickers stuck to another sticker. Okay. We do have fun, and people have fun coming to visit us, They right? Yeah. They're so happy when they get here and they love looking and everything. So I think it's, it's going to be really fun. Now, we did announce last night that we are having an event at the Crown Plaza. It's a nice hotel, just about, oh, you know, a mile and a half, two miles from here. And um, so I have to talk to the people at Baby Lock. Uh, we're, we're fine. It doesn't, uh, how many people we get, but I have to talk to them at Baby Lock. I had to find out how many machines they will send me, but um, so that it's uh, October 15th and 16th or 17th and 18th, okay? We had so many people want to register last night that uh, Tommy called the Crown Plaza and they have space for us the next week. So um, I guess we should check on a Saturday and Sunday. <gasps> You never know. But mm -hmm. see, what my experience with hotels is they charge more on Saturdays because mm -hmm. they, they hold it for a wedding. And fall is the, like really popular wedding time. So usually you can't get a hotel uh, for an event like ours on a Saturday because it's just too expensive. So, okay. So this one is exactly 12 inches. So I am going to mark it at 6 I'll slide my ruler farther over so I can see it, making sure my ruler's straight. And then I'll put a little mark at six. And I'll slide it over here and put another mark at six. So right there. And we'll put the two others on. Okay. I'll make you peel one of the. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Since it's taken me so long. Okay. Sure. Oh, I see. There's there's a little perforations in it. There so, is. Yeah. 
Oh, I can't right see. Right on the edge. It's hard to oh, see. Oh, there. I bent it, and it did it. Yeah. Okay. I didn't have to struggle so hard. Okay. So there. And, okay, I think I'm going to go the numbers. So I'm, I got the zero. A little longer, so just be careful with it. And there. Oop. Lifted it up. Now I like where my positioning is, like my positioning. Okay, there we go. Okay, and snip. Now, I'm usually embarrassed to show our magnetic hoops because we use them so much. Our, our stickers are, are like looking worn out. But the, the hoops are working good, but we, we use ours a lot. Okay, so here we go with the last one. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so I've got my numbers along the inside, and I'll just trim off the excess. And trim. Okay, now our next step is to take the stabilizer. So you get a little um, sample pack of stabilizer with it. And they and Dime also sells refills already, already um, size to the right size. So I mean that's the most convenient way to go. Okay. All right, now I'm just gonna peel that. So I want to put this on the back. Okay, so I should move my sweatshirt out of the way. And so I've got the back. I flipped over my hoop. I've got it on the back. And then here, let's see if we can get it. We might, I might need you again, PJ. Let's see. Well, should I score it and see? That any... scoring tool. See how good, I got used to using that scoring tool, and now I... I depend on it. Okay, so there. Okay, here it's coming. Okay. So you want to peel off the whole thing. Okay. Put that on the table with the sticky side facing up. If you put... So I'm going to flip it over. So I didn't mean to um, flip my hoop upside down. And then you're just going to lay the... Hoop right side facing up, right on top, and it's going to stick to the hoop. Except I think I'm to the left a little bit. Oop. Okay. So there. I was, I was looking up and down, and I wasn't looking left to right. So I think I'm looking good right there. Okay. So stick that. Make sure it's stuck. Okay. I'm, I'm a little crooked, but I'm okay. It's sticking good. Okay. And then... I will position. Okay, so how do we want to position it? So uh, I marked my line, but I did not mark the center. Okay, and I don't want to use my friction pens. So I've got here, and then I'm going to measure here. Okay, and what did I do with my ruler oh, over I here? Okay. I should use probably a smaller ruler. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, you know, I've got from here to here, oh, oops, upside down, okay, so, oh, the numbers, so there, and I've got it at about eight and a half, so at four and a quarter is going to be center, so I'm going to mark that at four and a quarter with my pin. Oop, look at I put my pin in crooked there. I think I'm going to be okay, maybe. Still leaning kind of crooked. There we go. And I want to put one a little farther down. So I'm just keep it at like the four and a quarter. I'm just lining it up with the other pin. And this will be about center. Give or take a little bit. And so I remember... Oh, learning embroidery really early and I was being really particular and moving it a fraction they said you don't have to worry that much 
Okay, so there. Now I'm going to take my hoop. Okay, so when you're dealing with a sweatshirt, and if you, especially if you have a heavy sweatshirt, you want the heaviest part of the sweatshirt to be across the arm. So, uh, so the, the arm carries the heavy part of the sweatshirt. Now, the sweatshirt that I have doesn't matter that much, but, you know, if you have, like, a really heavy, what it would, like, Columbia, some of them are really, really mm -hmm. heavy. And so you want to make sure that um, you do have that. We, we don't find that happening with our baby locks, but some of the other brands that we carried, um, that we found it, it affected how well the hoops would move. But it seems like with our baby locks that we're fine. Now I'm going to peek underneath, okay, and see if I am near the zero. And I am. But remember, we are going to, um, we're going to use our projector to make sure we're in there straight. And I got pins. So I'm just trying to get it in there straight. I'm good there. Okay, let's double check. So I'm, I'm here and, okay, so I'm peeking under and that pin, it's fuzzy. That pin is close to, okay, so I'm here and there's my pin. So it looks like I've got that line at about one. Okay, now we check the other side and make sure that one is at about one. But I'm still going to use my projector. Okay, so I've got that pin. And I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm at one there. Okay. And here, let's just see. My center here is at zero. Okay, let's check this side. And I'm just going to kind of go down here. And it's at zero. So I did good. So, But you see what I'm looking for. Okay, and then also I do want to smooth it. I don't want any bubbles. Okay, so that's why I like using the uh, sticky stabilizer. So making sure I don't have any bubbles. Okay, now remember, I wanted the bottom of my letter to be on the line. Hmm. Okay. So you and I've got the center, so I need to move the whole thing down. Okay. Okay, and this is where Mary Lou and Kathy say the difference is with, you know, a good good stabilizer like the dime sticky or the Kimberbell sticky is that it it remains sticky so that you can reposition mm. oh but this one is like a brand new so peeling up i did a really good job pressing it down didn't i mm. okay so we're going to go down here okay let's see how much room i have it feels like i have plenty i feel like i i should bring it down just a little farther okay so i'm looking here and I've got that one. Now I'm at about two. Okay. And then here is the other center. And it's just a little crooked there. So I'm going to get that one on two. Okay, we're going to peek under here. And this pin is at, it looks like it's at six. Okay. Oh, my pin fell out, but I can still see my crease. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. Okay, I'm going to put a pin in where the crease is. Just so we can tell. Okay, so I'm going to peek under. And there is my pin. And it's at six, so I did good. Okay, so now I smooth it. Okay, so make sure that you're positioning it right. I just, that was my measure. I didn't want those letters to be any lower. Okay, so I'm going to smooth it. We're going to leave the pins in, and we're going to head over to the machine. Just a couple questions. Okay. Um, would you use a snowman sticker to position? You could. You could, definitely. Okay. I don't then, think we have any snowman stickers over here. Um, I, do I, I don't know do? if we do. I think Zach does. Yeah. But, um. Uh, what about that would be the who said that it, that's so smart let's see who said yeah that. Uh, yeah why not use a snowman sticker it was just up a little bit let's see Janet Janet um, asks yeah why not use a snowman sticker yeah and then you know I Joni uses snowman stickers all the time 
But let's just head over. Sure. Because I think we're going to be projector. okay. We have the projector. Sure. But we, you, would we, you, you know, prefer the snowman hmm? over the projector? I don't think. But when we get over here, I'll know. Okay. 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 And, okay, so now, okay, so I got to get my hoop. Okay. And see the bulk of the sweatshirt. So see how much of the sweatshirt is going to be riding? So if that was way over on the other side, it could affect, if it's a really big, heavy sweatshirt, it could affect how the machine moves. Oh, this side. Okay, there we go. Hey, I should baste it in because, okay, so I'm going to slide that, get it all under. And what about, okay. what about a, um, somebody asked about Shade Flex or uh, some sort of... And, and, and I'm sure people would use the um, topper. I'm doing applique, mm -hmm. so I don't feel like, I, I think I'm going to be okay. Okay. We'll see. Yeah. But I think the, um, so I did take my fabric with, um, and I put the uh, featherweight hot fix. So that's going to give it some stability. Okay. And then this is a tear away. Uh, sticky, so that's going to give it some stability too. So I feel like I'm going to be okay. All right, so we are going to slide it. So now I got it up, but now I have to slide it into the bracket. Okay, and close it up and then move it. Okay, so there and there is my pin wanting to come out. I think the best bet with this is the projector because I don't want this hoop moving around a lot because then my uh, part of the sweatshirt could get caught on something and pull. So I think, I think my best bet is the projector. So, okay, so we're going to go here, all right, and then we're going to go to embroidery. Okay, so right now I don't have the projector. I only have the camera. So go to embroidery. All right, now I have the projector. So it's like an upside-down cone, so projector. going to turn on. Okay, this is where I wanted the bottom of my letter. Okay, so I think I'm going to move it down a little. Oh, oh, it's moving the whole thing. So show them here. Mm -hmm. So because I'm in embroidery, it's moving the whole thing. Okay, oh, a little too low. I think I'm good there. Okay, so there. Okay, let's move the projector up. So I move the projector out by touching it and moving it up. So there. Okay, we'll go up here. All right, and so, it, you know, I could measure that, but I'm just eye judging it. And it looks about three-eighths of an inch up. And I'm pretty sure I got it because I was watching the, um, the numbers on my hoop. Okay, there. And... I, I think I'm pretty good because right there may be, okay, let's look again, okay, okay, I'm going to take that pin out, maybe I shouldn't, I'll put it back in, okay, much easier if you mark it mm -hmm. with your chalk marker, mm -hmm. okay, so there, okay, there, that looks about the same, get to the M, Maybe it's you know it, it's so close. I think I'm good, but if I do, if I say oh it's crooked, then I would just move it one degree. So I'm just gonna go one degree. Okay, so so let's just say okay here. Well, one degree. So it's oh I went two degrees. Oh too much. Okay there. Let's check it again. And check it again. So this projector is the greatest thing in the world, isn't it? And, and that's what Kathy, you know, or Kathy Kimberbella, she uses it, she says, every time she goes to sew. So I feel good. I'm feeling good, all is right? It, is it centered, though? Is, does the oh, A need, oh. need to be like well, where we, that, um, oh, that's those right. two pins cross? Yeah, we better check. Okay, so I what I need to see is where is the center because it might not be in the middle of the A. Mm. So let's go up to settings. And then we'll go to grid and put that red X in the center and OK. OK, so that. OK, so where is it? 
It is no. <gasps> who Ooh. caught that? Did you catch that or who uh, caught that? I, I think uh, Karen Pico. Okay. Pico. Yeah. Is the yes. Okay. So no, it wasn't. Thank goodness. Oh my goodness. That's right. Left to right. So I need to move the whole thing down. Oh, I would have been so disappointed. I would have been ashamed to wear it to the grade school for Grandparents' Day. Yeah, so I'm going to go. Okay, now look at that. That's as far as it will go. But it's just, it's good, oh, right? Yeah. It's good. All right, so I'm good. So, okay. All right. Now I have my red thread in. Okay, so let's go. So it's first going to do the G. So let's get our pins out. I can't wait to see what this is going to look like. I hope I like the candle wicking. I kept thinking, you know, I love can the candle wicking stitch, but I, I was thinking maybe I would like the satin stitch better. So I'm just double checking that nothing is caught underneath the hoop, right? Nothing is going to get that sleeve up over your arm. So the weight of the sleeve, try to get this fabric here. So the weight of the fabric. So. Feel it, make sure that none of the fabric is tucked underneath, and I, so I think I'm good. I'm going to smooth it again. There's all sorts of great tips here. What about a basting stitch? You could. I could have done a hand basting, okay. but it takes me so long. Oh, baste it. So baste it in. I'm a little afraid because my G is as far as it will go. So let's see if I can baste it, okay? So let's go, uh, we'll go layout. Here is your basting stitch. So basting stitch, it's, it looks like it's gonna let me do it. So let's do it, okay? All right, so we're just gonna uh, start to sew. Now I know from doing it, it's gonna swing way up in the corner. So I think I'd feel better going to plus minus and letting it go up just one stitch so I can make sure that nothing shifted and nothing is underneath. Okay, I'm good. And you know what, I think, well, you gotta thread the machine first. That's very important. It is. Okay, so here I'm pulling on my thread. My door is shut right there. So I'm going to lift and then go here. I got to find out from Zach. Now that we're over here with Zach a lot. So Zach is our mechanic. He's really good, really nice. Everything, everything's great. Um, but I'll get him to tell us how he wants us to remove the thread. So there, thread it. Okay, I'm good. So I'm just going to press start. And just to be sure, I'm holding in my start button because I just feel like I'd like it to go slow. Now, if I want to stop, like let's say right there, it was folding under, I had to press this twice in order to stop. So I'll show you again. So here, I'm holding it slow. Now, if I release it right here, it goes fast. So I have to hold it in to go slow. And if I say, I want to stop, so I'm holding it in. Oh, I'll do it again. Hold it in to go slow. And if I want it to stop, I have to go press press that twice, and then it stops. So I might want to do that. Okay. Now, now, over on your screen, the crosshair now looks like it's off center. Yeah, that's... I... Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll do it again. <laughs> okay. Wait, I have another we'll sweatshirt. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Kathy always says, we do it nice. We, we did ours nice because we did it twice. Mm -hmm. And that's it. It takes a lot of times. So here I'm feeling that I just didn't want that fabric. So here I'm basting. And then there's no way that that fabric is going to be in the way. So there, I'm just making sure that nothing gets caught. There we go, so I'm good. Now, it is gonna go, and press start again, and it's gonna do my letter G. Are you gonna, okay. What does this go? Yeah, then I, I need to know where to place it, although I really don't. Okay, like, let's stop there, because okay. here's me skipping steps, and mm. that's good, okay, because I need to get things done fast, okay? So I think what I do is go back to the beginning of that stitch, so I'm back there. 
So I'm going to, here I am at plus minus. So let me go back there again, plus minus. And I want to go to back to the beginning of that thread change. So there it took me, I pressed the up arrow. Mm -hmm. It took me right back there. Why don't I do um, tack down on all three of those at once? Okay, so we're going to peel off the featherweight hot fix. Okay, oh, maybe not. There, okay. So I have a big piece. And I wasn't sure how big it was going to be, but I bet that one piece would have done it. Well, I'll peel off the whole thing. Oh, maybe from this angle. There. Okay. I think I had two pieces of hot fix kind of overlapping there. So. Get that off of there. Okay. So Joni's, um, no, tomorrow. Tomorrow is her granddaughter's first communion. So she's, I, I asked her to send me lots of pictures so I could see what's going on. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to press start. So I have the three. Okay. So en enough here to cover the whole thing. Making sure it's laying smooth. So I fused the feather, featherweight hot fix. Um, you know, the, the required time, they say 30 seconds. So, and that will prevent it from fraying. So I really didn't have to bring my um, candle wicking stitches so close together. So there's the G tack down. Okay, now we're going to go to our screen. Okay, and we're going to go find the A tack down. So there, G. Oh, it's going to do the M. So there's the M tack down. So I'm good there. Starting in the middle, I think I have plenty of space. Making sure nothing's gonna get caught on that needle screw or there, holding it so I don't get any bubbles. We have had so much rain here. And it's raining again today. So are, are we going to do a class on Saturday? Or are we just going to... Well, that's I'm going to find to out. For Monday. Yeah. Oh, what's on oh, Saturday? No, because I'm at the quilt show. Yeah. Yeah, Joni said... At, uh, yeah, yeah. Kathy had to drive somebody's car from Florida to Pittsburgh. And... Um, Steve is going to see a brand new nephew. So, yeah, yeah. so here I'm going to go down. So, right, I go down. There's M. There's the A. All right. So, we're going to tack down the A. I don't have to be so careful, except I want to have that arm holding the bulk of the material. So, we're going to uh, march all our fabric down here for Are we? Monday Material Madness. I don't know. In should the we rain? do? I don't think. Do you want to do the I show up there? I think we should do it. Do here. it here? I think we should but give it Then you got to march it all the way back to have it we, cut. we have some carts. We, can we do? do okay. Yeah. Nick will be here. Ryan's here. Yeah, sir. So. Let's hope it doesn't rain. But Steve won't be here. Maybe if I would just for next week, bring it down. Whatever you think. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the easiest would be to trim it up there. Sure. So, yep. okay. You want to treat it really gentle. Okay. So I don't want to be doing it in my lap because it can... Even though it's sticky stabilizer, it can still pop off the hoop. So I'm just going to gently pull my whole sweatshirt through that little spot. 
Usually this is the moment where I found that I attached something to the back and I didn't. Okay, so we're going to go up to the table and I will snip. Okay, I'm liking what I see though. I can't wait. I can't wait to see what this is going to look like. Okay, so maybe can you put a product in the in the selection mm -hmm. and then um, I, I'll talk about it talk as... About it. Yeah, as I'm cutting. So you mentioned the mini, oh. mini floral, like the fabric that you're using. Yes. It's really nice. Yeah. So this is Wander Lane. I oh, would not Wander suggest Lane. using your Wander Lane. It's <laughs> too valuable. So, but the other mini florals, where did they go? Right here. Oh, okay, good. Okay. So I'll spread those out so they can look at it. But these at all look really cute. So this is what we suggested last night for doing the Janine Babic designs. So if you already purchased it, you're set. But these little small florals will look really nice. If you do have any extra, well, see you might not have any extra of the Wanderlane fabric because we aren't done doing all the months yet. So. Don't worry okay. that. And then how about uh, the sweatshirt you're using right now? Yeah, yeah. So these are, you know, I, I, I don't like polyester clothing at all. The moment I put it on, I can tell I have polyester on. It's like, or acrylic. Oh, I hate that. And also they pill. So this uh, sweatshirt, now hopefully it tells me right here, but it, it is mostly cotton. So, so it will be a co comfortable sweatshirt. So I know... And you know, right, if you're... And right now we have, what, teal and... Or no, I mean, navy and... Pink. pink. Navy and pink okay. we have. Wouldn't the pink be so cute? I, so I was going to do that. So grab that piece of fabric over there. But look at how cute this would be with the pink. But here I was going to use my Wander Lane. Look how cute that is. That's the exact same pink. And do the stitching in pink. So, so if you bought that bundle from last night... Uh, if you didn't see us last night, you should go uh, watch that show again. We have a trunk show from Janine Babic, and her designs are fantastic. We have the, a trunk show of all of her sprint. Well, not all of them. She just said, you know, she sent, I think she sent us 24 different designs. And um, so, uh, but you'll want to go watch it because, you know, her, her, her designs stitch out so perfect. Gonna take me a while. Squeezy snips, I think they arrived today. So that's another one I should have had you put in the squeezy bubble. Snips? Okay. Is a squeezy snips. Sure. Would do you think duckbills would be easier, would be better for this, or do you like the squeezy Sque snips? I like the squeezy okay. snips. I mean, but some people prefer the duckbill, but if you don't have a pair of these squeezy snips, you have to get them. Because really they see they uh, you don't have to open them right you know they they it's they're spring loaded and so and they um, they're curved and they've got a serrated blade so they um really i could snip really close with it v-neck sweatshirts i think that we're, we're oh, asking that v -neck, for v-neck you know i i called them the um they are, they are that V-neck sweatshirt. We loved it. I called the company. They said it's discontinued. And I said, I have 110 people that want to buy it. They said, sorry, it's discontinued. We're never going to make that style again. What? Yes. <laughs> yes. So it's like, okay, okay. But we love that one. If any of you were the lucky ones to get that one. Um, so ne next in, in the bubble, I'm going to put... Uh, sticky hoops and th these okay. are all the, all the sizes that uh, th yeah, we, so, we have available. So they can what scroll back and forth and yeah. see all the sizes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And in the in the description for the product is a sizing chart for your machine. Oh, okay. There's a link to in case it. you don't. So if you have a Solaris, you can buy any size. Mm -hmm. So okay, good. So they know what size. So just remember Altair, Meridian, and Destiny. Your biggest tube is the nine and a half by fourteen. And PJ said they're, they're available in every size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I so I do like the 6x10. 
Um, but if I wanted to do it bigger, you know, the bigger, the bigger your sticky hoop, the better. And next, we, so we'll have to next time have the uh, the refills for those yeah. hoops as well. Yeah, yeah, because it is nice to have the pre-cut. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm almost got this big chunk taken off, and then I'll have to just just do some trimming. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna throw featherweight hot sticks in. Next. Yeah, because that is the best fusible we found. Ruth Ann, oh, I heard she won a ribbon. Is she still on? Ruth Ann, what'd you win a ribbon for at the quilt show? I tell you, the quilt show here um, is is like the nicest. Um, they There's so much talent there. I, I always was afraid to try quilting because my only experience with quilt, seeing quilts was at that quilt show, and they are perfect quilts. Unbelievable art quilts unbelievable uh, quilters that enter into theirs. It's just wonderful. And um, so to win a ribbon at, at that quilt show is means you are really good. And I, I now Ruth Ann's probably gonna disagree with me, but I think she have, well, I don't wanna put her on the spot, but it's like every, every year she has won a ribbon, so. Okay. I think she said that she is gonna be there to pick something up like a yeah. ribbon yeah uh, okay tomorrow. at the very end so that's yeah. it all the quilters come at the very end to pick up their quilts right. yeah so she will be there for that so that's wonderful I haven't seen her in a long time so so next I'm going to throw up the uh, Kimberbell sticky back yes yeah. so in case they want to try that out uh, with the regular hoop Trimming. See that comment sold. Um, they earn money by you guys buying stuff. So that's I and we love it. We love comment sold. And um, I mean, we wouldn't be where we are today without them. And so uh, we follow their rules. And just every time that we go on the air, uh, they want us to sell stuff. So we say, oh, that's that. That's that I, I'm not bothered plan. with that. Yes. So here, that center of the A, I'm just trying to get that point, and I don't want to make sure I don't make a hole in my sweatshirt, right? So I'm just going to get in there. I can tell I've just got one layer. And so really, I'll press this. Oh, I want to make sure my iron's on. I'll press this because that will prevent it from fraying any farther. Just a couple more snips here. Okay, so you've got the sticky stabilizer. Yes. Okay. And I know we really don't, you don't have to buy too much with this project. And so I am going to use that same red thread that I'm using to do the candle wicking. I'm going to use that same red thread to put the names up my sleeve. And I'm going to take this whole thing down to the quilt show because I can, I can work on that heat there. Okay. So next, uh, do you want to throw these uh, dispensers in? I don't yes, think we've shown yes. these in a long time. Yeah, they, they are for the 12 inch. Okay, so they have, we didn't open one, but you know what, it would be really good for my, oh, we have to set it up, but there's a blade. It gets um, positioned in here. And so even for the featherweight hot fix, it fits in here. You'll have it sticking out here. You'll slide out the slice piece that you want, and then you'll just slide the blade and it will cut. There's a 12 inch roll right there. Yeah, yeah, so the 12 inch roll works. So all the 12 inchers work, so. Do you wanna walk through? Okay. Okay. Bring these back. Okay. One more little snip, and then we're heading over to the sewing machine. Okay. Okay. One more snip. I'm gonna put it up on the wool mat. I 
feel like we've sold those a million times, but I guess what? we could have had the wool, wool mat in. Oh, the wool we mat. don't use a regular ironing board anymore. Oh my gosh, look at how cute this is looking. I'll just, I'll, I'll just fuse it and then I'm just gonna lightly fuse it because I don't wanna make the sticky stabilizer stay forever. Okay, okay. So look at how good it is looking. Wow. Right? Looking really cute. Wow. Okay, we're gonna head back. We're going back, okay. okay. Okay, and here is my slider bar. So again, I have to just carefully get the rest of the sweatshirt under there. I've got a big lump here. So I'm just gonna do it a little bit at a time. Don't yank too hard. You never know what you might loosen. There we go. Uh, there's something like this where the shirt is curling around. I would definitely stay with it. I wouldn't leave it. There, I'm going to get the sleeves up over. Okay. Hmm. All right. Now, let's see where we are. Okay. okay. So, I'm, I'm going to go back to the very beginning. So, one was the base thing. Two, three. There's my candle wicking. Okay, let's just start to sew and see what we think. So I did put a brand new needle in. Yeah, I gotta look at something real quick. Okay. So we we selected this kind of the small candle wicking stitch, so it's just a little texture on the edge. And remember, you could do that as a satin stitch. I wonder if, okay, if I would have put in the three letters, oh, might have made it even easier, right? So my three letters arranged perfectly in Dutch, so this could be done easier. It could be done easier. Instead of all three together, I could have put my G, my A, my M into IQ Designer and done all three at once. And then I wouldn't have had to rotate or anything. We better try that. So let me just sew a little bit. Uh, we'll just do the G and let's go back and try that. Okay. So we saved the three letters in um, the pocket with the arrow pointing out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this is looking cute with the candle wicking stitch. We'll just let it do the one letter because I'm thinking there's a much easier way to do it. So the quilt show is at, I guess it's called Hollywood Casinos. Most of us remember it as the Meadows Casino. Um, I'll be there from 10 to four, well, Teardown is at four. That's when all the quilters pick up their quilts. So you wanna get there well before that. Oh yeah, the little candy wicking stitch is looking really cute. But I'm gonna do the next one with satin stitch. I'm like so excited to do it. We did save this, right? So are you going to do the uh, embroidery on the sleeve? I think somebody asked that. Well, I thought person. I'd do that next week. Next week? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I, I just was afraid it would take too long. Yeah. And I'll be doing it at the quilt show, so I'll, I'll have it's done already, it once. Yeah, it is 5 yeah. o'clock already. Oh, it is. So. Okay, let's just stop there real quick. Okay. Okay, and um, I should mark down what stitch I left it at. So it is 24.52. So I can go back there and finish this. Okay, so let's just try something. Okay, we are going to go home. Okay. Go to IQ Designer. All right. We will go pocket with the arrow pointing out. The letter G. Okay. Then rotate. So rotate 90 degrees. Let's move that down. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so much easier. Okay. So I got the G, uh, say okay, then pocket with the arrow pointing out, 
the A, OK. Then rotate. Here's my rotate button. And rotate it. OK, then uh, pocket with the arrow pointing out. My letter M, OK. And rotate. So rotate 90 degrees. Move that one up. Kind of look at my spacing. At this point, you could uh, put the grid on. But I kind of prefer to, um, to just eye judge it. So there I am with the M. And if my could, A is in the center. I got a little bit of glare from the window. If, oh. I, could, if I could get a little bit closer. Oh, to OK, it, that would OK. Be good. okay and I that? can tilt it. That, I, uh, that's good right there. Right there? Mm -hmm. OK. So I'm going to say OK. I want to select the G. So I'm going to click on the Select button, click the magic wand, select the G, and then we want to move that. So your Move buttons are in your size and rotate. So let's just go Rotate. So, so here's where I rotate. Down here is where I move. I'm just going to look. Hopefully, I'm not blocking your view by peeking in. Hmm. I mean, let's just click out here. And oh, I think it, the G needs to be a little closer. I'm going to select it again and move it a little closer. Oh, you're going to, you're going to just like, this is going to be so much easier. OK, so let's say we like what we see. OK, so we need line properties, straight stitch. Let's do this one. Oh, so already, everything's already red. Let's go blue. So blue, OK, line bucket. Click on the lines to turn them blue. And remember, I have the inside there, and I do better with a mouse getting in those little spaces. So there it's blue. OK, line properties, straight stitch, blue, OK. And we did the line bucket. That's right. OK, so next, straight stitch. Stand, the default stitch length is good. Set, OK. All right, edit. Copy, move, and put it in center. Uh oh, I put I clicked on center. It's not in center, so I think I got to move it. So I'm just clicking and clicking. Okay, that looks good. There, it looks even better. Okay, let's go one more. Oh no, it was better here. Okay, then okay. All right, then add. IQ Designer. Let, this time, let's go Line Properties, Satin Stitch, and we'll go green and OK. Then Line Bucket. No, I don't have the picture. So I have to go, um, did I save it? Oh, <laughs> I no. don't remember. I don't remember. No, oh. I didn't. But that's what I would do. That's what you would do. Oh, so we'll have that ready for next week. Next week we'll right? show them that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's a, you got the idea. Yeah. Well, you're going to do three letters at once. Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to continue sewing this. I appreciate you watching. Next week we want to go over this again because it's all over Instagram. So you know what they do? Uh, you, um, you get the baby onesies that we all saved from our babies and you do um, mom or mommy, and then you the applique fabric is the onesie that the baby wore. So it's so sweet. It, this would make the perfect Mother's Day present. And of course, grandmothers would love it too. So, all right. So those of you that are coming to the quilt show, I will see you tomorrow. Just and a second. I'm, I'm afraid I, I made a mistake, but there was a, can we come up to the table and yes. finish up there? Yes. Because I just want to check on something real quick. Okay, okay. okay. Sorry. Okay. Right. So you talk for a minute and I'll, uh, I'll okay. just check on something. Okay, he's checking on something. Yep. Okay. I have no idea what he's checking, but he's checking on something. Well, I just wanted to make sure they got the right price for the sticky hoops. Oh, okay. Um, and I just wanted to check real quick that, that I had it right in here. Um, Okay. So eighty two ninety five for most of the larger sized hoops, and then there was the smaller sized hoops were. Um, I, I believe it was seventy two ninety five. Yeah. So let me just see. Yeah, those are really good prices. He went over them again, and um, he uh, so he he reduced the prices from before. So today is a very good day. 
to do your shopping. Remember, 2% will be put back into your account to spend later. Yeah, it looks correct to me, but if there's any problems that, that we'll, we'll get we'll them check them right we'll after. We'll check them in their, in their carts and make sure that everything's those, those okay. Are, yeah. All right. That okay. sounds good. Okay. All right. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank I'm going to so go much. rewrite my instructions and I want to show this again next week because it's so cool All and right. we just came up with an easier way to do it. So I'm going to rewrite my instructions and show you this again next week and I'll have another machine going to show you how we will put the designs going up the sleeve. So see you. Um, well, Barbara, I'm not going to be here on Monday. Barbara, well, I'll check on your I'll check on your cart and make sure you get the right price. But yeah, I, I, yeah. I do believe it was eighty two ninety five. Okay, he's going to um, double check. I'll just uh, okay triple check. Yeah. All right, he's going to triple check. All right. Okay, everybody have have a good evening, and I, I'll see some of you at the quilt show tomorrow, and. Uh, and then, but then next week I'm going to be gone on Monday and Tuesday for Grandparents' Day. So I, I'm really looking forward to it. All right. All right. See you. See you next week. Yeah. All right. Bye bye.